Presenting your work to your clients, teammates and developers is equally as important as creating it in the first place. So in today's video we are going to discuss how can you use mockups in Adobe XD, Adobe Photoshop and online tools to present your work in the best way possible. Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video, as I said, we are going to discuss mockups. So first things first, what are mockups? So basically you're going to use these devices to present your designs as a sort of real world scenario. So for Adobe XD, the best way I found to do that is with Angle. So Angle is this online library which you can download and use in Adobe XD, Figma and Sketch as you can see right here. It's $79 at the moment of making of this video for the full library, but you can also get free sample. So the way it works, if I scroll down, you can see how everything looks like. You can create all sorts of these different scenarios. You also have these sort of pre-created scenarios. You are also getting these so for the iOS if I click here these are for the Android and if I click here these are for the desktop so basically tablets you can see iMacs MacBooks and finally these different devices and as I said you can get these so for the iPhone desktops iPad watch accessories Android devices and for the desktop as well you're also getting inside of the pack these 5k backgrounds so you can include them in your designs to make your designs a bit more interesting and a bit more coherent. So how all of this works, you're going to purchase this library or download a free sample and you're going to install the plugin inside of Adobe XD in order for everything to work. So when you do, this is how it looks like. So here I am in Adobe XD using the angle mockups as you can see right here. This is a little bit older version. So uh, I downloaded it uh, in 2019 actually, but I didn't want to purchase uh, additional and new versions because I have basically all of these mockups and I can use them at will and these are not too different from the new version uh, obviously you're going to get newer phones inside but I can make do with these older versions and I'm going to purchase new version uh, in a later date so if Adobe XD folder you're going to get all of these different folders for all of these different devices and you're also going to get this XD file which is basically this XD file that you can see right here and basically all you need to do in order for it to work properly is no matter which version you are downloading make sure to install the plugin from here because I heard especially from users who are using the free version of this plugin that this method works best for them because they install the plugin straight from here rather than from the plugin store so if you want to go the other way around you will need to go right here to your plugins you will need to go right here and search for angle and install it that way so how can you actually use these mockups? So let me show you that as well. Right here I have my chatty UI kit, link is down below if you want to check it out. And let's say that I want to create a new artboard and perhaps 1920 by 1080. If I zoom in, perhaps I can call it presentation like so. And let's say that I want to present one of these screens right here in this artboard. So how can I do that? I can simply switch back to my angle plugin and I can locate for example let's say that i want to use this and this Control c so i can copy them you can also use them by the way here and you have these artboards at the top so for the iphone you can simply drag and drop your design here and simply uh, open up one of these and locate it here and then apply it directly from here so you don't need to um, use them in the separate project so you can use them here but i really like to do this the other way around so i copy these two i can go to my artboard here hit Control or command v to paste them in i can switch off responsive resize hold shift alt and left click on my mouse to perhaps position them like so and let's say that on this one i want to use the splash screen so i will ungroup them from here right click ungroup I'll click right here, then hold control or command and click right here until I get to my screen layer, which is important. And you have to use screen layers for all of them in order for them to work. So let's say that I want to use splash screen on this one. All you have to do is go to your plugins, angle, apply mockup, and you have to find splash screen right here from your artboard. Hit apply. It's going to work its magic in the background. And once it's finished, I can zoom in and you can see that now we have 
this uh, screen positioned in this perspective. And let's say that I want to use one of these, I don't know, login screens, for example, or sign up. Let's say sign in number two. I can do the same thing. So control and click right here. Go to my layers panel. You can see I'm on a screen layer. Go to the plugins, apply mockup, and we said sign in two, for example. So apply mockup and simply locate it right here. So here is the sign in, sign in two, hit apply. You can adjust these settings, but I found that if you just leave them at default, they work just fine. So here we are. We are. Uh, we included this design here inside of our mockup. And what you can do right now is basically rotate this. You can position it in front, in the back. You can play around with them and I can, for example, position it in the background like so. Maybe I can move it right here. Perhaps I can even rotate both of them. I can jump to my presentation, jump to right here. And let's say that for my artboard color, I can, for example, use this one and you get the picture. So this is how artboards and uh, these mockups work in Adobe XD using angle. And once again, simply use the plugin from the folder that you're getting either in free version or paid version. If you have a problem with the angle mockups, make sure to contact angle mockups directly, whether you're using free version or paid version, because that way with your uh, support, they can get and make these mockups work much better than they did before. I didn't found any other um, replacement, for example, for Adobe XD, rather than using angle mockups, and they're sponsored by uh, Adobe XD themselves, through these posts on their blog, for example, because they truly believe that this is the best option for Adobe XD at the moment. This video is not sponsored by anybody, especially not Angle, but I just want you to realize that this is the best version if you want native experience right inside of Adobe XD. So if you don't, you can simply go online and locate all of these other versions and all of these other tools. And I'm going to show you that next. So here we are and I have some uh, websites opened right here. And what you can do is simply use some of them. So here we have um, Rotato and Rotato only works on Mac. So make sure to uh, keep that in mind. It doesn't work on Windows as of yet. They promised a while back to include the Windows version, but I don't think it's coming. Great uh, thing about Rotato is you can place your designs inside of these mockups and animate them. So they, for example, rotate in place. As you can see right here, you can zoom in, flip out, and so much more. This is the premium service, so you will have to pay for it. And also, as I said, it only works on Mac. Next up, we have smart mockups. And as you can see right here, we have a bunch of these different mockups. You can get started for free, but they also have pricing. So if I check the pricing and see how that looks like, so you can see for free, you have one user account, 200 free mockups, basic features. So this is your current plan. If you sign up, then you can sign up for all of these other plans. And basically how this works, you have these devices in real time, but you also have these t-shirts packaging and so much more. So basically what you need to do is export your design from Adobe XD as a PNG or JPEG, for example, then go to this website, pick a scene or a mockup in question, then drag and drop it in place. And once you hit save, it will apply the mockup to what you have chosen. And basically that's the story with all of these different websites, which I'm going to show you. But the difference is the amount of mockups you're going to get. And also, do you need just devices mockups or do you need packaging? Do you need t-shirts, sweatshirts, caps, and so many of these other mockups? to create this sort of branding strategy around what you're trying to create, or do you just need device mockups? So next website is this. It's Render Forest. And basically, same story, so all in one. You can apply all of these. They also have these animated mockups. They have these animated titles. So it works basically the same way as smart mockups, but you have all of these additional features included inside. Mock Your Phone is a free version and free option. And basically you can choose, for example, iPhone 12, and it's going to take you to here. And from here you can choose whichever one of these do you want to pick. So you have iPad, you have iPad 4, iPad mini, iPhone 12, and you can pick this one. 
blue, green, red, whichever one you want, and you can present it that way. But to be honest, you can do this in Adobe XD directly, and you can simply drag and drop your design onto this mockup because it's simply flat mockup, it's not in perspective like these ones are, for example. So make sure to keep that in mind, but this is free and you can use it if you want to. This is free as well. You can switch between these ones and this is magic mockups. And once again, I will leave all the links down in the description for everything I'm speaking about. So you can simply go down into the description, click on any of these links and access everything which I'm speaking about here. So as I said, if I choose phone, for example, you can see that we have all of these different phones located right here. And basically the same thing, you have to export your image, drag and drop it into here, and it's going to pop up in this scene. Uh, however, as you can see, these devices are a bit older. So perhaps you need to use something like this. Once again, you can try this for free. This is shot snap if I say that correctly. And you can see that they have a bunch of these different options and you can see how it looks like here. So you have phone, you can choose whichever phone you want from here. You can choose the color and simply drag and drop your image inside. It's going to populate and you can lay down more of these options right here. So they have a free plan and they have a paid plan so you can explore it. We have responsive mockups and basically how this works, it's going to be much different. And this is place it by Envato. You can drag and drop one design. It's going to responsively scale across all of your designs as you can see here, here and here, for example. But I will not recommend you to do that. I would recommend you to design a responsive design in Adobe XD export your sizes separately and then drag and drop them separately for optimal results because if you do this automatically like they are trying to do right here sometimes you're going to get these different glitches and it's not ideal in terms of results so the best way to do this is obviously to design first export separately and then drag and drop into all of these mockups so once again this is place it by envato and great thing about place it is if you have envato elements which i truly truly recommend because I use it all the time and I really love it, then you're going to get place it included. So if you scroll all the way down, you can see Envato Tots Plus and place it studio market milkshake. So all of these are included inside of your subscription. So with one subscription, you can simply access all of these different mockups, but also mockups for Photoshop. And this is what we're going to talk about next. So in my opinion, in terms of mockups, Photoshop is still the king. It always was, it always will be because of its versatility. You cannot just edit mockups in Photoshop. You can change their positions. You can change the overall look and feel of your image. You can create different scenes. You can include all of these sorts of different mockups. You have this massive control inside of Adobe Photoshop that you simply don't have either in Adobe XD, Sketch, Figma, or these online tools because you have everything natively inside of Adobe Photoshop. So if you don't have it, you can go ahead and download a free trial from Adobe's website. And if you have Adobe Creative Cloud already installed on your machine, then you have Photoshop if you purchase the Creative Cloud. So here I have just one example from millions of examples that you can find online for Adobe Photoshop. I think this example is awesome and you can find it online. Once again, I will leave the links down below if you want to check it out. So this example is from LS mockups and these are perspective mockups. And as you can see, this is the pre-created scene. So we have a MacBook right here. We have the iPhone a bit older older version at that. And we also have this smartwatch. And the great thing about these scenes is you can create one yourself. So basically, if you're working for a client who wants you to design this entire branding scene, so they want to see how the website, for example, is going to look like next to the pen, next to the pencil, next to the books and so much more, then you can use these scenes to create a custom, a custom scene for custom clients every single time and knock their socks off basically with your presentation. So what we have right here, as you can see, we have all of these different elements and you can simply hide them if you don't want them. You can reorganize them. You can position them wherever you want on the page. And as I said, you can simply delete them, reorganize them and do with them whatever you like. Great thing about them is they are editable most of the time. If they are not, you can simply add, for example, let's see color balance and let's clip it. 
So I'll create clipping mask. And if I jump in right here and change my cyan, for example, you can see that the pen is changing color. So you can go with green, for example, and so much more, which is the awesome way for you to adjust all of these different simple elements to your client's brief and your client's brand and make it look much more coherent on the page than you can in any of these online tools and Adobe XD for that matter. So here is how the devices look like and you can basically choose for all of these devices. And let's say that I want to use this mouse and drag and drop it into position. And let's say that because it positioned it here, you can see straight away how much of um, flexibility I have with all of these. So let's say that I want to position it here and perhaps move this watch up top to here and perhaps I will position it right here. And because all of these um, elements are shot in exactly the same uh, perspective with exactly the same lighting, you can simply jump inside and for this shadow, let's use for example 20% because I think 50 is way too much. So you can see how many options you have right here. And if I go to my file, open, you can see that we have scene creator, notepads, business cards, envelopes, pens and pencils, cards. We also have presenting so you can see all of these pre-created compositions if you want to use them uh, for a hero image presenting and branding. So I'm creator perspective. I'm going to link everything down below. You can check it out, but their bundle is the best value for money because you can purchase it in three perspectives and you can simply play around with it and explore what works best for your project and for your scene. So those were the mockups in Adobe XD, Adobe Photoshop and online. Make sure to pick the ones which are good for you. I'm using these ones and I was using some online versions uh, in the past. So make sure to pick the ones which are right for you. If you want to access thousands of different mockups, you can simply go to Envato Elements, purchase the subscription and you're going to get all of these amazing mockups under one single price as well as place it, which is part of Envato Elements. So I really do recommend you to do that. And once again, make sure to pick what is right for you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you got some value in it. If you did, make sure to press that like button. I upload new videos every single week on design, passive income techniques, motivation and more. So if you don't want to miss them, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.